Hello everybody and welcome to another money making guide. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make about uh, 900 to 1 mil an hour just by doing the gnome restaurant minigame. It's a bit of a hidden method. People don't really play this minigame very much. And the reason behind that is it's a little bit complicated to begin with. Uh, but once you get this set up it's really easy to do. No risk involved and you can do it at a very low level. Okay, so we're going to start this minigame uh, at this gnome in the uh, northwestern corner of the first floor of the Grand Tree. His name is Jian Jr. Now, when you start off uh, talking to Jian, you'll have to do uh, two kind of introductory parts just to show you how this minigame works. And what you're going to have to do is create uh, five pieces of food for this guy. And then there's another gnome in the south right corner, I'll show you, um, that... Uh, you need to make some drinks for. So the way this minigame works and how you make money from it is mainly from one specific item and that is the gnome scarf. So the gnome scarf is obtainable from two of the potential delivery targets. So not all of them. So essentially what we're going to want to do is only deliver to those two targets. Unfortunately that's not available when you first start doing the minigame. By the way here's the other guy down here. You're going to be trading uh, they sell you the supplies that you're going to need for the minigames, uh, but you have to run and talk to this guy uh, to finish up the kind of mini quest to begin the actual um, minigame. So, how are we to skip uh, to get the proper delivery targets? And that is going to be by playing the minigame for a little while, legitly. So, to do this method, you really only require 42 cooking, uh, 10 construction, and really tree gnome village you don't actually need any requirements but to really do this effectively you'll need those any uh, other recommended requirements would be doing the grand tree quest fairy tales part two uh, higher magic level for any teleportations and while these are nice they are not required at all uh, they'll only speed up this first process of unlocking the ability to skip to whatever target you want uh, but again you won't need them after that but it does save you a lot of time so what you're going to do is uh, start by completing orders, and the way you do that is you talk to the Gian Jr. Uh, at first he's uh, going to give you a little bit of a different text message, uh, but yes, delivery is fun. You're going to want to do to the edge of the world, it's no limit for aloft, aloft food deliveries. <laughs> and that is essentially saying you're doing a hard order, and now the hard orders have about 12 or 13 targets. Of those 13 targets two of those is what you want so you get a target and uh, I'll link the wiki article because there would be too much to talk about all the targets and how to make all the food but essentially what you're gonna do is just uh, find the gnome and deliver the piece of food that is required uh, making the foods pretty easy you just have to combine the ingredients together and then you drop it off okay so now we'll just do a sample delivery here so we've gone and gotten a order uh, it says, Captain Clem Foodle wants a short green guy. Uh, now making the drinks in orders uh, takes a little while, but what I've done is I've stockpiled uh, three of each one. So that way I can easily withdraw it, and if I run out, I just make three more of the item that I ran out of. It seems a little more time efficient that way. Uh, so Clem Foodle, that is the Karamja pilot. So most of these are pretty easily accessible. Now if there's one you can't do, uh, you can just wait five minutes and get a new order. Um, so it's not a huge deal and I wouldn't go out of your way just to get the requirement because once you um, have done this for about two hours you won't need any of those requirements anymore. So we're going to come up here, uh, just do this quickly, talk to this guy, we'll go to the glider. Um, you'll get used to where all these uh, gnomes reside but you, again you won't really have to worry about this after. You're going to talk to him after you brought him the drink. And he's going to give you a reward. So he gave me three toad flax. Not bad. Uh, now the important thing here is. You can see these credits. Uh, now I've already maxed out all the credits I can get. You get three credits per delivery. And uh, once you get 12 credits. You're going to get a piece of gnome food delivered to you. Now for whatever reason. Once you get yours up to 10 items. It brings up a different chat uh, type. For when you start your food deliveries. And that will let you skip the orders right away, uh, which I'll show you here. 
and it doesn't require you to wait any time, so you can literally spam it until you get the two gnomes that you want. Those gnomes are Captain Ninto and Captain Darkin. One is at the Duel Arena, and one is below uh, White Wolf Mountain. It's the area where the fishing contest uh, quest unlocks. Okay, so now that uh, you have filled up your reward tokens, it'll take about 40 regular deliveries, uh, which will probably take about two hours. Now you notice, he says, clearly you're a very hard worker. I think you need a holiday. Um, and what you can do now is say, yes, delivering is fun. And then you get an order. Okay, it's Bramblebeck. Uh, this guy's way out of the way. We definitely don't want to do that one. So you just talk to him again. Yes, Leverine is fun. And you can do it over and over again until you get the right gnome. And the easiest way to do this is just spam spacebar and then click the chat options. You kind of get it after a while. Still don't want that one. And then essentially just do it until you get the right gnome. Go do those two deliveries. One is at the Dual Arena and one is below White Wolf Mountain. And then you have a pretty good chance of getting a scarf, which is worth about 800k and it's about a 1 in 20 chance. So before I start my one hour of doing a gnome restaurant, I'm just going to quickly show you the easiest way to get to the two gnomes you're going to actually be going to. Uh, the first is Captain Ninto. The easiest way i found by far is to just set your house to uh, Taverly, uh, which you need 10 construction for. And then you're just going to run a little bit up here to the left, and it's very close, very easy. And that's way better for, than running from Camelot, which you can do as well. Uh, but that requires a higher magic level and it just generally takes longer and uh, he's just going to be right in here and that's how you get to the first gnome. Uh, the next one, easiest way by far is to just go to the duel arena with a ring of dueling. Once you arrive, uh, just run up onto the stands and he's kind of in the middle, uh, not too far away, but you kind of do have to kind of get right into the duel arena. Alright, so here uh, is Captain Durkin right in the middle here. Uh, you can see just a little bit east of where the dual ring uh, pops you off, and there he is. Now, on top of that, the easiest way i found to get back to the Grand Tree is to just have Ring of Wealth teleport to the Grand Exchange, and then run a little bit northeast to the Spirit Tree, sorry, and uh, then just go back to the Gnome Stronghold. Alternatively, you can also use the Ardune Cloak 1, uh, which you require the Diary for, but it's not too hard to get. And it has an unlimited amount of teleports, and you just teleport uh, to the Ardune Monastery, and then you just run a little bit up here, and there's a tree there. A little bit less quick, but also doesn't require any charges on anything. Pretty easy to do. All right, guys, so we've started this method off. Uh, we're on to our first delivery. Uh, if we can find the dwarf, he sometimes hides us around here quite a bit. All right, delivery number two is going to get us three opals. Eh, that's not very good. Delivery number three, four? I don't even know anymore. Uh, it's going to get us nine sapphires, not too bad. Our next delivery is going to get us a bird's nest. That's kind of interesting. We'll see what we get at that for that after. I'm going to say delivery number six is going to be three emeralds, not too bad. Delivery number seven, also to Ninto, is going to be three rubies. Uh, that's actually decently valuable, I mean, compared to the other drops. Next delivery is going to be 10 sapphires, not too bad. Alright, next delivery is to Ninto, and it's going to net us 2 opals, pretty shitty. Actually jades, even worse. Another delivery to Ninto is going to get us a diamond, uh, I guess that's not terrible. Uh, delivery to Darkin, finally, is uh, 2 jades, that's pretty shitty again. Alright, we got another delivery to Ninto, uh, he's right beside me there. Please give me the scarf, buddy. Uh, I've done like 8 deliveries so far, 10, come on. It's gonna be three emeralds. Maybe next time. Alright, another delivery to Ninto. Maybe this time we'll give me the scarf and it's two jades again. Alright, Durkin, come on, give me the scarf. It's gonna be three opals. Come on. Alright, Durkin, another delivery to him. It's gonna be some emeralds. So, yeah, three emeralds, not too bad. Our next delivery is going to get us a red topaz. I don't even know how much that's worth. All right, another delivery to Ninto is going to get us, oh, there we go, there's a scarf. Sweet, uh, it's a pretty awesome scarf, but mainly is worth 800K roughly. Uh, so that's pretty good. I think we only have like uh, 15, 10 minutes left, so it's kind of nice we got that in the hour. And there we go, that's 811K. 
All right, we got the scarf, so anything after this is kind of just gravy. Uh, but we are going to get a uh, Snapdragon. Eh, not too bad. All right, another delivery to Ninto. Uh, come on, another scarf, please. Three Toflax. Not too bad, actually. All right, we're nearing the end. I think we might be able to do one more delivery after this. Uh, so four emeralds, not too bad. And yeah, we'll be able to squeeze one more in, I think. All right, and our last delivery is to Durkin. Come on, let's just get another scarf just for the lulls. And it's a jade. Oh well. We still got our scarf, so we're pretty happy. Alright guys, we're at the Grand Exchange, and this is what we managed to get in one hour. We got a scarf, 18 emeralds, a bird's nest, uh, which we'll open in a second here. Uh, let's search it. Uh, we get a willow seed of the bird's nest, so I you know, not too bad. And we'll go ahead and price check this. It's going to be worth about 900k. Uh, now keep in mind, there's a couple other drops we could have gotten, mainly the Grand Seed pod. Now if you get that, that is a mill drop. It's pretty rare, uh, but it is still worth factoring in. Uh, even if we only got that every 5 hours, that's still an extra 100 200 k an hour. Uh, it is a rare drop, but you do get it, and when you do, you can get, I think, 5 to 10 of them. Uh, so it's not likely, but you can get it eventually. So we'll go ahead and sell the scarf for 813 k sell the rest of the stuff, and we'll come back and uh, see how much we profited uh, from this one hour of Gnome Restaurant. Alright guys, everything's sold. Uh, the Gnome Scarf only took about 20 minutes to sell, honestly, really quickly. Let's we'll collect and see how much money we managed to make. Uh, looks like 910k, so not bad. Uh, keep in mind, if uh, you factor in the fact that there is a couple other rare drops you can get, uh, I would say this is easily 1 mil an hour over the long term, uh, which is pretty good considering there's no risk, pretty low requirements, and uh, it's not too click intensive, except for skipping the tasks is a little annoying. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.